Hi, I'm George from Epifan Video, and today we're going to take you through setting up your new Pearl hardware encoder. We'll go over the initial steps you'll need to take to register the device, upgrade the firmware, set up basic layouts, and ensure your Pearl is ready to go. The order of operations is important here. For example, to take advantage of the most recent Pearl features, you want to upgrade your firmware before jumping in to configuring the unit. If you're planning on doing video recording, you'll want to install an SD card on Pearl Mini and Pearl Nano. If you're only live streaming, then an SD card is not necessary. On Pearl Nano, there is also an M.2 SATA storage bay available for recording. No SD card is needed on Pearl 2. To configure your Pearl, you'll need to access the admin panel via the web UI. To do that, we'll first need to find the unit's IP address. Connect your Pearl to power and then to your network using an Ethernet cable and power on the unit. Now you can find the unit's IP address using the front screen. The navigation will vary slightly depending on the model. On Pearl Mini and Pearl 2, tap the gear icon in the lower right and then tap System Status. On Pearl Nano, use the arrow keys to navigate to System and then to Network. Contact your network administrator to verify your network setup requirements. More information on how to configure network settings can be found in the Pearl User Guide. To access the web UI, enter the Pearl's IP address into your browser. By default, the username is admin with a blank or empty password. The web UI gives you full administrative control over all the settings. Please note that for firmware versions 4.14.2 and newer, when setting up for the first time, the Pearl UI will prompt you to set passwords for the administrator, the operator, and the viewer roles. For Pearl Mini and Pearl Nano, navigate to the SD card menu from the Configuration tab and click Format Card. To ensure you benefit from all the latest Pearl features as well as receive automatic firmware updates in the future, it's important to first register your device before moving on to firmware updates or configuration. From the Configuration menu, select Firmware Upgrade. Click on Register in the banner at the top of the page and enter the information on the registration form. Check your inbox to confirm the registration email. Now let's upgrade your Pearl to the latest firmware version. Select Firmware Upgrade again from the Configuration menu and click Check for Updates. Click Download and Install. After the system reinitializes, go back to the Firmware Upgrade menu to verify that you are on the expected version. Click the Check for Updates button again to ensure you're on the latest version. Depending on when your Pearl was manufactured, you may need to do a couple of updates. Lastly, to make sure you're working with a clean slate after all those updates, let's do a factory reset from the maintenance menu. Now that the unit is fully updated, we can start configuring video encoding, streaming, and recording settings. Begin by connecting your video and audio sources. In this example, I'll connect two cameras using HDMI cables to the back of the Pearl Mini, as well as one audio source using XLR. On Pearl 2, you can connect up to four HDMI and two SDI video sources and four XLR inputs. On Pearl Nano, you can connect one HDMI, one SDI, and two XLR sources. Now let's go over to the Channels tab. You can set up multiple channels and layouts for streaming and recording on Pearl Mini and Pearl 2, and one channel on Pearl Nano. You can use the Layout Editor to crop, resize, and rearrange sources to customize your content. In this example, let's create a very simple layout with a colorful background and a framed video source. I'll click Add New Item here and add my background image, resize it, and then add another item which would be my video source. You can also add images like PNG logos to your layout. Simply click and drag your items to design your layout in any way you see fit. Don't forget to select the appropriate audio source on the bottom and click Save. Also in the Channels tab, you will find your encoding, streaming, and recording settings. Under Encoding, you can adjust things like codec, frame size, bitrate, and frame rate. Click Apply to save. You can set up your streaming instances in the Streaming tab and set up local recording in the Recording tab. For more detailed information on channel and layout configuration, check out our other videos in the description or refer to the Perl User Guide. Epifan Cloud is our remote device management system. You can use it to manage and monitor all of your Pearl units remotely. Pairing your unit to Epifan Cloud is not required, but going forward, 
doing so will allow you to update your firmware remotely using the cloud interface. And there we go. Your Perl is now ready to capture, stream, and record. If you have any questions about Perl systems, check out our support page or reach out to us at info at epifan.com. Thanks for watching.